first of all, thank you so much for choosing to watch my video. Today's video actually left me shocked to my core, crying and feeling like a bad mum, but let's go on this journey together and sort our homes out. Welcome back to another video. If you've got no clue who the bloody hell's just popped up on your screen, hi, my name's Liv. I'm a 26 year old first time mum that lives in the UK. I've actually got depression and over the past couple of weeks, I've been decluttering my depression home in the hope to make my house less overwhelming and ease my everyday anxiety. So far, we are actually on week five out of six we're so close to the end but it doesn't matter if this is the first video you've clicked on I'm running out of places to organize but luckily the kitchen is going to be tackled today and next week as well because it is such a huge job quickly picking down a chalky croissant some blueberries and a coffee to try and give me some energy to get through this clean because I just do not have any motivation today to be honest I've sort of gone a bit backwards in my recovery this week as I accidentally came off my sertraline tablets so you're going to see a very raw emotional side to me today usually Usually I just wouldn't film or I just cut certain bits out but I thought you know what there's actually more power in showing these vulnerable raw moments in the hope that it helps someone else feel a bit less alone too. As always when we do these declutters I start off setting a timer today it's going to be a 30 minute one and I'm trying to rush around do the mundane everyday things like tidying cleaning up toys then we will move on to the decluttering part of the video. Keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down The other week we did a huge playroom and kids room declutter and I'm reporting back to you today with a massive update. Before I'd spend like half an hour at least every night just sorting through Arlo's toys that have been dumped on the floor, now I spend less than 60 seconds. It's been life changing and I 10 out of 10 recommend doing this, just taking things out and simplifying the space. I actually put it at the bottom of the stairs in the kitchen to save space and Arlo can still access it that way. Also, people asked me where his kitchen was from. I actually made the kitchen while well, I upcycled it using um, like an Ikea one that you can buy. I added peel and stick tiles to an MDF sheet that I stapled onto the back of the kitchen, painted the cupboards, added some handles from eBay, then knocked out the glass windows with a hammer, stapled some cane web into the doors. And I also installed a tap with real water supply, but to be totally honest with you, I'm not that organized a mum, so I end up not filling up the water. Um, but yeah, you can always look back on the video because I did like a full tutorial if that helps. And this is my washing pile because my washing machine has broken. I've been hand washing my blooming knickers in the bath and hair drying them this morning. So it's just going to keep piling up because we don't even have a date of when we're going to get a new washing machine. Just to keep it brutally <laughs> honest with you guys, I mean that shouldn't be there, but when I've been doing my decluttering videos, especially downstairs in the play area, because I've had so much to move around, I have chucked quite a lot of things in baskets and bins to sort out at the end of the series. Um, so yeah, I recommend having a dump bin and then sorting out miscellaneous things right at the end. And we will do it together. I think next week's the last week actually of our series.
this is where you're going wrong. This is not clean, you need this. I didn't even notice all the mold growing on this wardrobe and all on there it's like coming out from there all under the skirting board um i'm gonna need to throw this away i can't i don't think this can be saved it's all in the fabric and i can't wash that um it's such a shame oh for god's sake it's on some of his clothes as well which i'm gonna need to wash when we get a washing machine but this is just it needs to be sorted out right now so i'm stopping the timer and sorting this out i also don't want anyone to think that we don't clean this because we definitely do it's just it's nobody's fault it's just the result of living in an old house um and i won't lie sometimes it is quite hard to keep on top of things like this but i like to think that i try my best and i do a good a job as i can um but I just feel really bad because he's been sleeping in this room. I feel like the worst mum in the world right now, but we have definitely made an improvement. And you know what? After this declutter series is over, we're going to be doing a deep clean series. Who wants me to do a deep clean series? Because I feel like that is definitely the next step in progress. This is the situation at the minute. Cupboards. This is my source back stock I mean it says cereal it's definitely not like sauces rice pasta that sort of thing for dinners this one is plates um god knows what's up there and then in this one I've got spices um like condiments and things this one is like my cereal drinks biscuits chocolate hot chocolate that sort of thing let me just move this Ooh. This one is Arlo's cupboard, which is a bit messy, um, but I just put like his snacks, his plates and everything in there, his cutlery. This one is the medicine cupboard that we did the other week. I think this was on my first ever declutter video at the start of the series. Um, so I'm just gonna have a little bit of a tidy up of that since we've been raiding it when he's been ill. This is where all of the pans go to their graveyard. Let me just show you. And because it's like a corner one, you can't even see back in the depths of that cupboard. And because it's a corner one, like things in that corner, I haven't seen in a couple of years. Okay, no judgment here. It's probably why the smoke alarm keeps going off every time I put the oven on. This is the cupboard of doom. This is where the bits and bobs that I don't know where to put go. So this needs to be completely gutted, sorted out, decluttered, um, probably a lot of things thrown in the bin. So that's going to be a massive job, that cupboard. And then this one here is my cleaning cupboard. It definitely needs to be sorted out. This is where the bottom of the house, the bottom, the end of the house is. And then obviously we've got an upstairs. And then this is the width of the house. Okay, it's not big at all. And this is why we're getting so much clutter everywhere because we just don't have the space to live here with a child. And the kitchen is a massive air, like problem area because it is so tiny. So we need to come up with some smart systems 
I like this little beauty that I have all my mugs on. Some smart storage systems um, to be able to fit everything in a nice, organised way. I've managed to create a little sensory digger tray. Oh, why am I like this, guys? Honestly, it's always me that this, this happens to. I can never just, I always end up making a bigger mess than when I started doing these sort of things. <laughs> Something I've learned from doing this series is break your declutter down into zones rather than rooms and learn from my mistakes. In my head I was thinking, yeah, I'll do the kitchen today, can't be that hard. But each cupboard literally takes so much more time than you think. Even if you just say, right, I'm going to do the cutlery drawer, we'll do one cupboard, that is still progress. And I wish I had a list for you to follow, but to be quite honest, I just don't have the time because these videos take so long to edit and film. However, Mrs. Hinch is your girl for this. She's got a declutter challenge on her page, which is manageable. It's like one day do the cutlery drawer, the next do a deep clean of the oven. And guys, it turns out she blooming watches our videos on here. So shout out Mrs. Hinch if you're watching this. I'm gonna get as much done as my body will allow and just have a little bit of leeway, go a little bit easy on myself today. I'm having a bit of a crappy day. So let's just see what I can get done. exhausted and I completely overestimated how much I would get done but I want to do the row so we're going to tackle this beauty of a cupboard this is my plates my cups my junk so let's get going <laughs> Do 
you know what I've realized? Us mums are so hard on ourselves for no reason. I've just done all of this and I'm still feeling deflated and sort of kicking myself that I've not been able to do more cupboards. But that's reality and lesson learned to not put so much on my to-do list. There's always next week, there's always tomorrow. So come back for the final declutter episode and house tour of all the spots we've been organizing over the last six weeks. I've also got my kids Easter basket video that you should definitely go and watch after this if you're looking for some budget finds and ideas for your kids for Easter that aren't gonna break the bank. And if you're having a hard day, remember it's not a bad life, it's just a bad day. Hopefully decluttering and cleaning has given you a bit of a mood boost. I'm sending you so much love, honestly, and I will see you in the next one. Catch me looking over my shoulder